Okay, what I have to show you here today is the distributor I've been working on for my uh, V12 engine. It's a pretty simple design <coughs> uh, that I thought I'd try. It's made up of two polycarbonate tubes that I got from McMaster's car. It's a one inch with a, uh, a three quarter inch ID and there's a three quarter inch OD with a quarter inch ID. Uh, this is the stationary part of the distributor and it has uh, 12 pickups on it, one for each spark plug. The uh, <coughs> I made these out of brass and threaded them a 256, drilled the holes in the polycarbonate threaded those and screwed these brass pickups just so they're flush with the inside of the tube. <clears throat> and then the thinner part, the part that rotates, I put a brass piece of brass tubing down through the center all the way down through. That's the main conductor for the coil and I drilled the 256 holes down through the tube into the brass tubing and put uh, 256 uh, machine screws in each one of those holes. Now <clears throat> I'll call this my player piano <clears throat> or music box I guess would be a better analogy uh, distributor because each one of these pins, <clears throat> there's a pin every 30 degrees as it rotates. There's space to line up with the pickups. And they're timed for the firing order of the engine. I think I could get this down where you can see it. So <clears throat> after I got those screwed in and timed, I... Uh, put it in a lathe and I turned the heads down just below the surface of, of the outside of the rod okay so all these pins are making contact with the brass tube on the inside okay and the way this works <clears throat> this tube goes inside here We have these brackets one for each end this is where this little piece of uh, plastic <clears throat> is where the magnets will mount the Hall effect uh, transistor will be right here and fastened to this tube so by turning the, this tube on the outside I can time the engine or advance the spark forward and back and then <clears throat> this is the drive sprocket that goes on the other end now let's see if we can get this turned around here here's the engine and this will mount right in here like so each one of these wires goes right to the spark plug you can see here so there's no tangled spark plug wires they all line up and you turn the sprocket it goes around and makes contact I, I hope that's clear it's uh... might be a little confusing but uh... It took me a while to think of how to do this, and I, th I think it's going to work out pretty good. So thanks for watching.